Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will discuss that how we can make contour plots for response surface methodology. In this specific example, I have selected central composite design. I have three independent variables named x1, x2 and x3 whereas I have a response variable with the name tier that I have included in this video. So first of all, I have made this design. Hopefully you know that of how to how to make a central composite design. Now, the next step is to make a regression analysis equation that will be used to make a graph. So, to do so, click on stat, then click on DOE, then click on response surface, then click on analyze response surface. Please remember that our response is here in this case. However, you will have to click on the term because we can only take two terms at a time in order to make a graph because we have only two axes. So I have taken only a, a means x1 and x3 whereas a is the a square, c c means um, x, x square or c square and then a c is the interaction term of x1 multiplied by x3. The a square and c square these are the quadratic terms. Then click ok and then ok. So we will get the regression analysis results. So we when we come out, so we can see this over regression analysis equation. Now we will move to the origin software. We will get such an interface upon opening the software. Let's maximize it. Then do a right click and then click on add a new column. Then change the dimension of this column by doing a double click on it. So a new window will be opened. Now click on plot destination. Click here on the Z, then click OK and nothing else to do, wait, so that the destination has been changed. Now you will have to copy the two columns that we have taken in the analysis. So the columns are x1, so I will copy it, x1, control c, here I will click on this row number 1 and then control v. Similarly, I have to copy the x3 and along with the x3, I will copy the response as well, control c and then control v. Now, the data input has been completed. The next step is to click on worksheet. Then, do the right click on the top left cell. Here, J, set the matrix dimension labels, click on it. Then, change the 32 into 200 and here also 200 because we'll have to make the predicted values. So, the first column X, what is meant by this? This means that we will have to enter the lowest value in the x1 cell that is equal to minus 1.68 and the highest value is 1.68 please note down these two values so i will write here minus 1.68 as the lowest value and then i will have to enter the last column as the highest value then again the row number one is 1.68 and here it is one point also 1.68 Sorry for uh, this mistake, it is 1.68. Likewise, here I will have to write minus 1.68. The data input has been completed here. Now I will have to write the equation in order to predict the regression analysis values. To do so, I have again do the right click on this top left cell and then I will have to click on set matrix values. In the set matrix values, I will have to paste the regression analysis equation. This regression analysis equation will be obtained from the result from the regression analysis or the analysis that I have performed right now in front of you people. So this is my equation. I have to enter this equation. Okay, there is one problem that if you direct copy this equation from here and you will paste in the origin software. A problem will be appeared so you, you will have to manually write it there so i have written the whole equation please remember few things that do not put is equal to or any response or any word i mean that here in this equation it is tier is equal to and then space so you will not have to do any such thing because it will create a problem for you people then simply type it 83.5 plus okay then in the regression, uh, obtain regression analysis equation, you can see it is x1. So instead of this x1, you will have to insert a static symbol, then write x instead of x1. And please remember also, 
you will have to use small letters then uh, instead of x2 i have written y then the quadratic term is x uh, 2.13 static x then static x so this is the quadratic term or you can say x square similarly for y square i have written two times y with the static symbol in between them for the x y term or the interaction interaction term between the two independent variables so again i have used two um statics click ok so the predicted you will get all of the predicted values and based on these predicted values we will get our matrix okay now we will have to plot it so click on plot then click on 3d surface then color map surface upon clicking you will get such a graph the first step is to improve the colors of such a graph so in order to improve the colors i have a uh, other so other images that have good colors just like this so i can provide you uh, such images the original file of the original software through whatsapp or email or linkedin please contact me on via these sources you will have upon opening such files in your pc or laptop you will have to do a right click on it so then click on copy format and then click on colors so again go back to your own graph then to again right click on it and click on paste format so the color format is now changed the next step is to improve this uh, graph so you will have to remove all of these grid lines let's start with the x-axis title so i will name it as x1 y-axis title is x2 as per my data so i will turn x2 then uh, my response variable is the z so i will write here tier so uh, t e a r then uh, in order to improve more i will have to eliminate all these grid lines so you will have to do a click on these grid line then go to the axis in the axis you have an option of the grid lines in the grid line you have vertical grid line so major grid remove then click on horizontal uncheck the major grids then click on z axis uncheck the major grids then click on apply then click on ok so the, all of the grids have been removed now uh, in which we want to look this graph so you can move it either up or you can move it either down by using these button you will also move the graph clockwise or anti-clockwise so you can see it here it is the clockwise movement of the graph and similarly one more time you can see now it is moving clockwise similarly you can move it anti-clockwise as well now uh, the one more thing that you can also uh, tilt right like this one and you can move the graph like tilt leftward but i recommend you that do not use these two buttons further one more thing that you can insert uh, a surface at the bottom of this graph as well to do so then again click on this graph and then click on plot details in the plot details you will get surface projection please uncheck this control line and click on bottom color then apply and then click on ok so i think it is quite a uh, heavy little bit for so you got such a uh, bottom surface as well then do a slight movement of this graph so that you can view the bottom uh, surface colors in a good way one more time i think now it's uh, yes now it's slight better because you can see on both ends now the next thing is to add equation to to add equation click here on the text tool and then click here where you want to add the equation in the equation so you can also copy and paste now the equation from the mini tab as well so click here and then a uh, copy and then go to the origin software here in the software okay you can uh, press ctrl v so text here i want to add the text and then ctrl v so you got this equation uh, just you will have to do slight editing backspace here backspace here and then remove delete all these words 
so you will get your regression analysis equation that that is needed one more thing that is required in uh, these images is that you have to move this scale and move it set it as as near to the your response variable name here it is requirement of the research papers or articles now the last thing how you can download this graph so click on file then click on export graph open dialog here you will have to select um, the image file so a lot of image files will be available but you will have to click on dif so it's taking a little bit time so now image type drag down tag image file then here you will have to select long name so a b uh, b c b g uh, like anyone then you will have to select the destination so go to the d here you can select it look where it is d click ok and then nothing else to do apply this graph will be exported to the local disk d from where you can find it if you have any question please contact me via whatsapp email linkedin i will try to respond you as soon as possible have a good day bye